Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out the Jaspies 15 box Stanley Cup playoffs mixer. We also have St. Louis at Colorado, tied at four in overtime. Colorado leads the series 3-1. So St. Louis Blues fighting for their lives. Uh, 15 box Stanley Cup hockey, playoff hockey mixer. A lot of great boxes here and we're giving away that McDavid. So at the end of the video, we'll re-randomize everybody's names. Name on top gets the McDavid. Here it is right here. Woo. Really nice. So even if you go hitless the entire break, you can still hold on to hope for this. Very big thanks to everybody here for buying their spots straight up and congrats again to the people who won spots in those two trilogy pack breaks. All 31 teams are in. And what's going on here? I guess all card ship? It doesn't say no, no vet comments yet. All right, that's, that's pretty typical for breaks like this. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got Walter down to Ryan. Three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. We got Winnipeg down to Boston. So here's how it shakes out Walter with Winnipeg. Eric with the Wild, Mike with the Flyers, Matt with the Maple Leafs, Mac with the Penguins, Walter with the Sharks, Carl with the Panthers, Brian with the Flames, Han with the Sabres, Brian with the Avs, Joe with the Predators, Carl with the Coyotes, Steve, you got my Kings, Mac with the Blues, Jesse, Blackhawks, Rangers, and Red Wings, Dusty with the Stars, Steve Birch with the Oilers and Golden Knights, Sean with the Lightning, Steven with the Ducks, Walter with the Senators, Steve with the Devils. Tim, you got the Canadians. Jeffrey with the Islanders. Steve with the Caps. Kyle with the Canucks. Jimmy with the Hurricanes. Mac with the Blue Jackets. And Ryan Harold with the Boston Bruins. Let's alphabetize by your, by your teams there. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Welcome back. Um, the St. Louis Blues staying alive in the playoffs, scoring an overtime goal in Colorado. Wow. All right. No deals were done in our 15-box Stanley Cup playoffs hockey mixer. Thanks, everybody, for getting into this, for making this happen. I appreciate it. Mac ended up with that last spot mojo. With the, got randomized the Pittsburgh Penguins. This will randomize at the end. So again, even if you go hitless, you can still keep your fingers crossed for this. Just set that aside next to me right there so I don't forget. Uh, let's get some pro set going. I may need a little help here because they don't have the team names on here. So sometimes it makes it difficult to figure out where each of these guys go. So that's easy. That's got the Rangers on there. These are kind of low numbered buybacks. They still technically get the train whistle. Rangers, Jesse, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. This is out of five. Todd Elick traded to Minnesota. So, but that's the North Stars. Oh, it's still King's Edition right here. By the letter of law, we're going to have to randomize that. All right, what about this guy, Larry Murphy? 11 out of 25. Is that a, is that a, what, what kind of jersey is that? My hockey knowledge not super strong. 
Let's see. He played for the Kings, the Capitals, the North Stars, Penguins, Maple Leafs, and Red Wings. That looks like a Capitals jersey. Kings, Capitals, North Stars, Penguins, Maple Leafs, Red Wings. The gang is saying capital, so I agree. So that'll go to Steve Birch and the Washington Capitals. Bobby Hall, that's definitely a Blackhawks jersey, right? Yeah, that looks like the Blackhawks logo right there. Checklist? I mean, technically, we can go by our no checklist rules. But I don't. No, they have their name, but they don't attach them to a team. Yeah, both of those players... The team they played for the longest, Larry Murphy, played six seasons with Washington. That was the most of all the teams he played for. And Bobby Hall obviously played with the Blackhawks for a very long time. All right. Another one of these. And I guess the North Stars turn into the Dallas Stars, right? So on that randomizer, that'll be Dallas and Los Angeles. Uh, we don't, Gilo. We definitely do not. Yeah, I, I did say that it'll it'll break tomorrow. There's Canadians. There, there's a ref. So I'll be. You know what? This will be number two on the randomizer after the McDavid. And we got a three out of three. Borge? Smalling. King? He played for Toronto his entire career. Uh, he played one year in Detroit at the end, at last season of his career. But Borge Salming, a Hall of Famer, should put respect on his name, Maple Leafs. So Toronto, Matt Buckler, three out of three, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And Ray Bork spent 21 seasons with Boston. A couple with Colorado at the end of his career, but... Old Ray Bork. Boston Bruin, Hall of Famer, Cup winner, 11 out of 12. That is for Ryan H. And the Boston Bruins. 
All right, and we'll do this randomizer along with the other one a little bit later. All right, now some Skybox. Justin, um, yeah, we discussed this briefly, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind the Raiders working out Colin Kaepernick, my Raiders. And if if he's a better option than Nick Mullins and Jared Sidham as a backup, if that if this, that's what the coaches feel like, then uh, then let's let's sign him up. If not, then not. But I don't know. I, they did they they have Jared Stidham in there. They actually traded for Jared Stidham, and they got Nick Mullins. And they may still have like Garrett Gilbert or someone random like that in their quarterback room. Um, so you have to wonder why they would invite Colin Kaepernick camp maybe, maybe or uh, to work out. Just I don't think they're just doing him a favor. Maybe they are. I don't know, but there must be something in that quarterback room where they they don't like. Uh, what does no vet commons ship mean again? That means vet commons don't ship. So common cards, vet base, different ways to put it, but I'll show you in a second. So for this skybox right here, so that's a common card. So that won't chip. That won't chip. So these won't chip. That's a pre that's a PMG Dylan Larkin, which is actually a nice insert. So that won't chip. These won't chip. That chips because that's an autograph. And that's a rookie auto for uh, New Jersey. That's going to go to Steve Birch. Igor Sharangovich. Dylan Larkin is to 100. And the Connor Hellebuck for Winnipeg. That'll be for Walter. That's also to 100. Different color on that PMG. But inserts like these are inserts, so these will ship. This little piece will not ship. But that's a prospects insert that will ship. That's a rookie card, so that will ship. That's also an insert that will ship. Drew Doughty ships. That's an all-stars insert, so that, that will ship. But this will not, that will not, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't. I think that makes sense, right? It's two uh, elected Lafreniere cards. Jesse got randomized the Rangers. It's not bad. All right, box one in the books. Box two, 21-22 Series 1 hockey. This is where we're looking for those young gun cards are the main, the main thing we want to go with here. All right, my upper deck puts the little stickers right there. Now, 
Yeah, what happened with the abs? They, they, were, they were, looked like they were cruising, and then they they let uh, they let the St. Louis Blues back into it. So the games yesterday, we got the Rangers beat Carolina 4-1. to one. So that series is tied at 2. And then the Oilers beat Calgary 5-3. to three. So the Oilers are now up 3-1. Today was just this one game, Blues at Avs, and Blues came back and won in overtime, 5-4. And so what do we got tomorrow? A big game, 5. Um, Rangers at Carolina. And the Oilers are in Calgary looking to close it out on Calgary's ice. They're one of their rivals, right? Big rivalry? So again, these are commons. These won't ship. Uh, I think that's a common too. Yeah. But that's an insert that will ship. And all these young guns, of course, will go as well. There's Daniel Walcott for Tampa Bay. It's going to go to Sean. Uh, Joshua Dunn, Young Guns, Columbus, that's going to be for Mac, Mike McCarthy with that one. Matthias Samuelson, uh, that's a French, the French variation. Jens Loup. Young Guns, that goes to um, Buffalo, that'll be for Han. Much like my hockey knowledge, my, my French is not strong. But hey, I'll do my best. Another one for Buffalo. That's gonna give me some trouble too. R2, Ruo, Ruo? Salainian. Uh, Young Guns Canvas. It's for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Sean. Here's Cam York for the Flyers. That's going to go to Mike Tower. Mike says it's French for Young Wolves. 
Huh. What's the what's French for gun? Maybe maybe it doesn't sound as sound as nice. All right, there is Keaton Middleton. Kate's brother. That goes to Brian and the Avs. We'll try to close it out next game. There's Kyle Burroughs, Young Guns for the Avs. Another avalanche for Brian. And for Boston, for Ryan, that's uh, Oscar Steen, Young Guns, Canvas. All right, now let's work, let's make our way into some Opeachy Platinum. This is the most comprehensive single season base set in hockey. Yoon's arms could be a direct young guns translation, but probably the wrong meaning of guns. Like that could be young artillery or something like that. Oh no. Oh no. Are all the packs like this? Oh no. It's gonna take me like a minute per pack. Come on, Opeachy. Oh, I, I think I got a solution. Nice. Yeah, this, this, we've we, we got to put this on the list of, let's not put these in a mixer. <laughs> Let the record reflect that these two OPG Platinum boxes are the reason why this mixer will take a zillion years. Could I... Oh, that's not even any fat. That's not even any faster. Oh, Lord. Well, if you're rewatching the replay on this, definitely fast forward through the next two boxes. <laughs> Unless you enjoy seeing me struggle with this packaging here. I'm trying to stretch it past the the outside corner of the card so it doesn't doesn't damage it. Crushing weekends, thank you. But if you look on the schedule, it says that is going to be for tomorrow. I put that put that note. I made that announcement. So if you want to uh, back out of that, you can. Part of the reason why is because of these two boxes here. All right, let's just get this other one out of the way too.
And what do we do with the two pallets of Vopici Platinum and Jaspi? I don't know, right? Have someone else open them. All right. We've passed that test. Next two boxes. Got some different uh, parallels here. I don't even know what we're looking for here. Autographs? Hmm. Well, we'll find out. We're not shipping those checklists. That's out of 100. And this is for um, Carl and the Arizona Coyotes. Cool, playing cards. Think we can make a poker hand out of this? Marquee rookies, Gabe Velarde. Oh, we got, I, I guess that Joker, we got three of a kind, Jax. Gritty is pretty funny. There he is. So three jacks so far. We got another stack here. Another king, I've got a full house. We got a trophy winners, the Maurice Richard Trophy, which is the trophy for, everyone knows this, right, for, say it with me, that relic goes to the Sharks, Walter with the Sharks, you know, 
Everyone knows. For goal scoring, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I, to I totally knew that. Totally. All right, hey, listen, not a bad hand at all. If you're picking the five best right here. Pretty nice. Upper deck MVP, you the real MVP. Much nicer. Rangers at Carolina Hurricanes is the early game tomorrow on ESPN. Series tied 2-2. Who wins that? What is that? What is everyone's guesses? Predictions. That's correct. Face is loaded. I think I wrote that in the break schedule as well. So that'll be our first break of the day tomorrow. This hockey mixer is going to take a little bit longer than I thought and really want to try to get that impeccable filled up as well. We, we were, that's kind of a longer break. We were kind of, kind of cutting it close on that Gypsy Queen anyway. Matt says, uh, Carolina, they don't lose at home. Does this have the makings of a seven game series then? Carolina leads at 3 2. Goes to New York for game six. Maybe the Rangers win at home there. MVP. MVP. It's just a different parallel. That's a facsimile autograph. For a second, I thought it was a gold ink autograph. It's not. It's just. Embossed in there, same thing with this, it's 250. You know there's some kid freaking out once they see this for a split second. They're like, hey, oh my God, I got a Leon Dreisaitl autograph. That's a 20 for the Oilers. <laughs> Kale McCarr, just a different aqua looking parallel. Um, we had a couple 
chances and then go and make some big saves. And then for me, even getting the out of the second, we made a mistake on their goal, like just a little late on the coverage on the middle guy, a little late on the rush coverage on the next one. So the last, you know, six, eight minutes, like they're on a push and they're pressing down on us and we made some mistakes in the puck. Like we didn't, we didn't get pucks out, we had pucks out instead. The, the Crider was a puzzle piece? I think I must have flown by it. Maybe we'll find another one in here. MVP box, and we'll start working our way into some OPG Platinum, some SPX, and then we'll close with those two uh, Ultimate Collection boxes. It's Chris Letang for Pittsburgh to 25. We actually, in spite of those OPG boxes, are we a little ahead of schedule? I don't know, we'll find out once we're. I don't want to speak too soon. Man, that looks dangerously close to an actual autograph. I don't even know if there's autos in here. Who is your 2020 NHL draft pick? Does anyone remember? Uh, well, that would be the Rangers is Alexi Lafreniere. Oh, baby. 
So that goes to, I don't know what this is, it's just a card maybe? For a reservation for one trading card will be made in your name when you submit the request. Card expires December 2022 at the end of the year. So Rangers, that's going to be Jesse and the Rangers. Sports Center. All right, 2019 2020 OPG Platinum Hockey. Must be the draft class before the Lafreniere class. So, what are we looking for here? Jack Hughes, Cabo Caco, maybe Kirby Doc, guys like that. I don't know if the Rangers traded up for these picks or if they were just bad, but that's a couple years in a row with a with a top two pick. And now flash forward to what a year or two later, and they're in the um, and they're in the uh, what call it second round of the playoffs uh, in the break schedule. Pinned in the chat and dropped in the chat frequently by Nightbot. That's where we that's where we have a lot of our break schedule updates, filler information, shipping information, all sorts of things. You don't have to be. I, I can take you out of the break weekends if you bought that spot thinking it was going to break tonight. That's not a big deal. Oh, tomorrow, sorry. Uh, if you're wondering what time's gonna break tomorrow. No, I think your question was what I just answered actually. But it'll be the first break of the day tomorrow. There's Kale McCarr, marquee rookies. This is pretty nice, right? Six out of 50, seismic gold for Brian in Colorado. It's Thomas Hurdle, the 399. Eric saying that card is big. Yeah, because I was like, I know that guy. That guy's pretty good. People always seem excited when I pull him. I've seen him play. Now, what does a seismic gold go for? It's Cody Glass, marquee rookies to 199. There's a cop of Caco.
Ilya Mikheyev, uh, Matt Pink for Toronto. That's going to go to Matt. Cody Glass is going to go to Vegas. That'll be for Steve Birch. And an auto, Mags Verano. Verano, maybe? Verano. Either way, that's going to go to Walter and Ottawa. And Ottawa Auto. Nice one, Mike Tower. Mike's like, that card's not big. It looks like this. Same size as all the other cards. All right. Another box, same year. Is that the McDavid year? 15, 16? McDavid rookie year? It is. Matt, Matt's confirming yes. All right. So, see Birch, who got randomized the Oilers. Fingers crossed in that future box. Man, so he's already been in the league for like six, seven years? Just seemed like yesterday we were looking for Connor McDavid rookies. Time flies by. You got McDavid, Jack Eichel, Mitch Marner. Sunset Parallel. Another Seismic Gold? Yes, Mark Shifley. 45 out of 50 for Walter and the Winnipeg Jets. We've got Jesper Boquist to 199. That's for New Jersey. That's going to go to Steve Birch. Morgan Riley, Violet Pixels, three ninety nine. Sounds like a uh, a nineties rock band, Violet Pixels. Hey, hey, we're Violet Pixels. <gasps> a puppy. A year old. You're like a puppy. Look at you. It's Stormy. 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 It's like Kylie's daughter. It's adorable. It's adorable. It's adorable. Jack Hughes. Marquee Rookies Rainbow. That's a big one too, right? New Jersey Devil Steve Birch. Matt Pink. And we've got a Blake Lazat autograph. Looks like kind of, I don't know, it's maybe a poor quality ink or something like that, but still a Blake Lazat for my Kings. That's gonna go to Steve Birch. 
Los Angeles Kings. All right. Some good stuff here. OPG. It's all good stuff, but chance at Connor McDavid. Let's go. All packs open. See what we got. Good luck, everybody. The autograph is Jonas Hiller, Calgary. That's going to go to Brian, who bought that spot straight up. Blue Rainbow Autograph. Shea Weber, Black Ice to 99. Jamie Benn, White Ice to 199. As for Dallas, that's gonna go to Dusty. And this one will go to uh, Nashville. That'll be for Joe. Drew Doughty, 198 to 199, white ice. And the second autograph is Jordan Wheel for the Kings. Both of those will be for Steve Birch. On the, he's on the Kings now. There's Nick Shore, tracks. No, uh, no McDavid. We still have a little ways to go. Come on, McDavid. Just one. Sam Reinhart, tracks. Brown. 
No. Nothing. All right, well, let's see what we got in this SPX. Ah, Jason Jaspi is saying Marner is actually 16 17. 15 16, McDavid, Panman, Eichel, Larkin, Rantanen, Heli, Soros. Thomas Hurdle to 299. Sharks. Walter. We've got Timothy Lilljergen to 349. Obsidian Rookies. Toronto. That'll be for Matt. And we've got Evagni Malkin. Penguins Rally. That's for Mac and the Penguins. And then back here is Super Scripts for Florida, Alexander Barkov. It's Carl with the Panthers. All right, next box. Flow show saying, I don't know much of anything about hockey to get into a hockey break. Sometimes you get into a hockey break to learn about hockey. Good excuse to learn. And the autograph pops early. Andre Vasilevsky. Tampa Bay Lightning. That's for Sean D and Tampa Bay. Another autograph. Silver Ink autograph. Maxime Lutinov. 195 out of 299 for San Jose. Walter with the Sharks. What else we got here? We got a shadow box. Martin Kaut. Rookie shadow box. For Colorado, that's going to go to Brian. And the relic is Josh Norris to 399. Does that Barkov autograph have any glitter left from them partying the night before the game four losing game? Boy, for someone who doesn't know much about anything about hockey, sh shooting shots, huh? That's a relic on the bottom. And that is Alexi Lafreniere to one uh, to four ninety nine. Four forty nine that is. Forty four out of four forty nine. Ultimate rookies relic. Rangers, Jesse. Behind Liam Foudy is Dylan Cousins. 27 out of 99, Ultimate Rookies, Autograph, Buffalo! 
That is for Han and the Buffalo Sabres. And the other card behind him is Debut Threads. 44 out of 99 autographed Debut Threads. Ollie, you will leave you. Vancouver, that's going to go to Kyle. Alright. 15th and final box, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, the Roman Yossi. That is to 35. And behind Quinn Hughes is Igor Sharangovich, rookie autograph for New Jersey. That'll be for Steve Birch. And for Calgary, there's Jacob Markstrom. That's going to be for Brian. And is this the relic behind Quinn Hughes? It is. It's a Pavel Francu. 444 out of 649. Does he, does he pronounce the Z? And that'll be for Brian and the Avs. And there you go, gang. A nice mixer in the books. But we're not done yet. We've got to give away that McDavid. It's pretty nice. This will go to the second name after the McDavid. The ref. Is he avoid? He love and refs have to jump up on the uh, on the boards there to to avoid the the puck and players. And we got to randomize this. It has both Kings and Stars logos on it. So we'll do that as well. All right, so let's flip back to this random.org screen over here. The first one will be the Todd Ellick, Dallas, Los Angeles Kings randomizer. And then everyone has a shot at the McDavid from spot one through 31 and everyone in between. A one in 31 chance. All right, fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. Dice roll. 11 times, five and a six. Let's do this one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Then final time goes to stars. So that'll be for Dusty and it's out of five and under, so all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right. One really happy person, 30 sad people. 11 times. Good luck. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then final time.
Well, don't give up just yet, Joe. Don't forget about the McDavid. That hit changes everything. Oh, sorry, Joe. You're in spot 10. Not quite. Apologies to everybody here. 31 through 2. Sad times. Walter, you'll get that referee card. Sorry about that. But there could be only one. It's Jesse Axtell. Jesse, congrats to you. The Connor McDavid going your way. Quad relic and autograph. 12 out of 15. From 1819, the Cup Hockey Foundations jersey autos. Graded a 9, auto a 10. What a hit. The centering and the uh, centering is a 9-5. Edges and surface a 9. Corners are an 8-5 for a grade of a 9. And the auto is a 10. Pretty awesome stuff. Congrats to Jesse. Thanks, everyone, for giving this a shot. And thanks for uh, joining the mixer. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.